and welcome to Yachting Monthly's How To Series, brought to you in association with GJW Direct. I'm Matthew Sheehan, and over the course of 13 episodes, we're going to be dealing with some of the key issues when it comes to maintenance and talking to some of the experts to get their tips. Hi, I'm Rachel from Rubicon 3 Adventure Sailing, and today we're going to look at how we remove a halyard and replace it with another line. This is just in case we need to do some maintenance on our halyards or we're taking the mast out. This is not what we would do if we had broken a halyard and lost a halyard at sea. So our halyards are all running up to the top of the mast and then back down inside the mast. Sometimes they go down through some kind of channels. Usually they're kind of loose inside the mast and there's other things inside the mast like cables from the VHF, um, a CME if you've got an active radar reflector, your navigation lights. So what's important is that the halyards and the wires never twist around themselves. So if we are to remove a halyard from the mast, we need to make sure that we pull a sacrificial line, an extra line down through the mast to take its place whilst the halyard is out for servicing or replacement. And that's called the mousing line. So a mousing line is just a very thin, usually fairly cheap bit of rope, which is long enough to go all the way up to the top of your mast, back down again, and potentially all the way to the cockpit if you need it to. So it needs to be at least twice the height of your mast or twice the length of your mast, and it needs to be long enough to come back to the cockpit if that's what you want it to do. So before we do anything to our halyard, we're going to make sure that we have securely attached the mousing line to it. If you've got really heavy halyards and very narrow sheaves at the top of your mast to pull through, the best way to attach these is actually to sew them end to end together. Today what we're going to do is just do a, a rolling hitch and use some duct tape because these are very lightweight halyards. This should be okay. So I've got a hitch there and I'm going to duct tape over it to make sure it's really nice and smooth and that it will go down through the top of the mast safely. We want to make sure that there's no kind of random snaggy edges that could get caught on the way down. It also needs to be really strong. What we don't want to do is lose the halyard or the mousing line inside the mast by them falling apart. I'm going to make sure it's really secure. I'm going to give that a really good pull and check they don't come apart, which they don't. And then what I've done is just flake the line out in the cockpit so that it's all ready to run when I want to pull it through. Okay, so this is our main halyard and we're gonna take this one out for servicing. We firmly attach the mousing line to the other end of the main halyard and now we can actually just pull it all through, making sure that the other end of the mousing line is still attached somewhere. At no point should you need to pull it hard. If you need to pull it hard, stop what you're doing and try and work out what's snagging because the risk is if you pull it too hard that the lines will come apart. Mm -hmm. If it does get a little stuck, you can just pull it back and forwards a little bit, give it a gentle it's 
feels a little tight there, so I'm just going to see if I can free it up. There we go. That was the um, that was the knot coming over the sheave at the top of the mast there. So it just was a little stiff. So that's our main halyard fully out. We can now take the uh, mousing line, the duct tape off, or unstitch it if we've sewn the two ends together. And then we can just make this secure at the base of the mast, um, tie both the ends together really nice and tight, and that can stay there all winter long without any problems, ready to mouse the halyard back through at the other end of the winter. The other thing we need to remember to do is to label each mousing line. They're really obvious when they're this colour, but if you've got three or four lines that are that colour, then you'll probably forget which one was which by the time you get to March next year. OK, so we have re-stepped our mast. Um, we're ready to put our halyards back in. It's time to go sailing again. So we're going to prepare the main halyard on the deck. We flaked it all out nicely so it's going to run properly. We're going to attach it to the mousing line just like before. Give it a really good test. You don't want to be testing that when it's inside the mast. And make sure that you've attached the right end to the mousing line. If you put the shackle end up and try and pull the shackle through the mast, it'll, uh, it'll get stuck at the top of the mast. You won't get very far. So once we're all attached, we're nice and secure there, we can do the reverse of the process of when we pulled it out and we can find our mousing line, pull it all back through. Making sure nothing gets snagged on the way up. Just being careful at the top, it's quite a narrow sheath at the top there, so we're just being careful to make sure we don't yank it too hard and separate the mousing line and the halyard. Just checking for any resistance as you're bringing it back down through the mast. You want to make sure that it's not getting snagged around anything internally. Should be fairly smooth. When it comes to bringing the knot out through the sheath, there may be a little bit of resistance. You might have to just help it out as it feeds down. And again, when we get to the blocks at the bottom of the mast. Cool, so we've got both ends safely back, back on deck and ready to go sailing. Well, thanks for watching. I hope that was of help. Make sure that you like us, make sure that you subscribe to us and stay in touch for the next episode.